During your time, let's put these numbers up on the screen, Iran went from zero known centrifuges in operation to more than 5,000. So, in fairness, didn't you leave, the Bush-Cheney administration, leave President Obama with a mess? Well, I don't think, uh, think of it that way. In fact, uh, there was uh, military action that had an impact on the Iranians. It was when we took down Saddam Hussein. But the centrifuges went from zero to 5,000. Well, they may well have gone, but that happened on Obama's watch, not on our watch. No, no, no. By 2009, they were at 5,000. Joining me now, Colonel Lawrence Wilkerson, former Chief of Staff to Secretary of State Colin Powell, who made big news this weekend with his endorsement of the Iran deal. Um, Colonel, your response to uh, Cheney's apocalyptic warnings about, uh, about this deal today? Well, the exchange you just characterized in that clip uh, sort of personifies what my appreciation of Dick Cheney is. I've been searching for a single word that would describe Dick Cheney, and I'm afraid the only one I can think of is insanity. Um, it's a deliberate, it's a, it's a methodical, it's a lucid, often lucid insanity, but it's insanity nonetheless. He can't recognize reality. He can't recognize the truth. Uh, I can't explain it. Maybe it's physiological. Maybe it's biological. Maybe 9-11 did something to him. After all, he was in charge when 9-11 happened, the greatest attack on American territory uh, since Pearl Harbor. Um, that might have shocked him somewhat. I can't, I can't explain it, Chris. He is simply devoid of reason, and he doesn't recognize reality anymore. I mean, Cheney's a millionaire now, so maybe I'm assuming his insanity, and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he sees this as a way, as a route to success, and uh, it, it turned out to be profitable. His personal finances now are, are quite well established. Uh, he's a multimillionaire. Uh, this is a man who, in 1998, Chris, said most forcefully as CEO of Halliburton that sanctions were not working, right. that they wouldn't work unless they were comprehensive and international. And he wanted to do deals with Iran, and so he was bashing sanctions up one wall and down the other. That's, that's, this is a man who's lost his mind in some respects, in my view. All right, Colonel Lawrence Wilkerson, thank you very much. Thanks for having me.